Hi guys! I wanted to come to you today with my what I have melted in the last two weeks. If you notice, I have a different color in the background. It is not, com it's coming up better than it was a little while ago. It was a, some kind of softer blue, but it is a, it's called Sassy Lilac. And I don't know if I put something white up, if it, that's more true. No, it's not. It's still got a blue cast to it. But I did cover up all the blue with primer and stuff. So I have come to the conclusion I am definitely my father's child. I hate to paint. Everything in the room got hit except for the ceiling, the windows, and the doors. Um, there is a set of footprints in here on the floor. Thank God I'm putting carpet on. And it was not Jesus carrying me either. Um... There's paint on the floor. I don't even care at this point in my life. I am. I have to do the trim and then I'm putting carpet on it and I will be well on my way. I've still got my bulletin board covered up because paint would have got that too. So um, I wish you could see this a little better. I thought this, it, this room is actually lighter than it was and I thought it would film better but for some reason it's not. I'm having to change settings on my camera so uh i fi filmed this once and it had i mean it went really crazy blue on me so um we'll just have to watch and see what happens here so i may be watching my um screen a lot today so but anyways let's on go on with what i've melted in the last two weeks the first thing i have is this pink sugar lavender mist and it's from sassy girl aroma and this is one that I use to sleep with at night, and it smells really good. And I've got it cut up in little chunks. This is a smaller chunk than what it comes as. And if you are not careful, my room is smaller, so it will blow you out of there. Um, and this may even be too big, so I may have to cut that down. But it smells amazing. So I love that one. and been melting it. This one is one that I bought at the Affair of the Heart, and it is coming around again. It's a craft show that comes to Tulsa, and it's coming around November 17th, I think. So, uh, this is Pink's Champagne and Strawberries. This is what I bought the last time. Absolutely love this. Smells amazing. Uglier than freaking sin. Um, but it smells amazing. If it was pink and sparkly, it would be perfect, but it's this ugly stuff. But it smells and throws, it will throw you out of the house. I'm not kidding you. Um, I think I will have to start cutting this down into halves because it is that strong on that. Um, I started melting this this morning and I used three of them. It's pretty strong. It was doing good with two, but I wanted it a little stronger, so I th threw a third one in there. Um, it smells... In the package, it smells like a banana nut bread, but a true banana nut bread. But when you get it in the melter, it smells a little more, it's not too artificial, but it is, you know that it is artificial. It's in between, in between a runt candy and a real banana. So it's somewhere in between. So it's not bad, and I do like this. It's pretty strong as well, because it's in my kitchen and it's coming through. Um, here is one of my, where's it at? My amazing messes as me um, blending crazy crap together again. So, I don't know if you've seen in some of my empties, I have melted Tuscany candles. I've melted two that I know of that I picked up this fall. And I've had to throw the whole thing in the melter at the same time, at, all at once, because it wasn't that strong. And... This one I thought, mm, it's chocolate, let me let me hold back. So I only threw three of them in there. And about 15 or 20 minutes later, I felt like I was drowning in a vat of brownie batter. It was, it was way too much. So Dinkus here goes in and gets um, the Swan Creek Sparkling Apple Cider and throws in it. Why? I don't know. Don't ask why I do the stupid things I do. Um, I was trying to figure out what would go with chocolate and I was like, 
I don't know. I didn't have like a cherry scent or I guess I could have put a pistachio in with it or something. But I picked this one up. And this one is just like the last one is very strong. And this one chunk right here covered this up. And you can smell a little bit of chocolate and a whole lot of spiced apple. Um, sparkling apple cider. So, um... This is very strong. This one is very strong. This is the strongest one I've gotten out of the Tuscany candles that you can get at the Halloween section at Walmart right now. So, that one. This one, I melted part of it on its own, and then I've been using it as a blender, and it's Rose Girls Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Sugar Cookie Dough and Gilligan's Brew, and I have a little bit of a chunk left. Um, it was good on its own, but it... It's not that strong, but it makes a great blender scent. Um, probably the thing that I get most out of it would be the sugar cookie dough. I don't get the pumpkin pecan waffles, um, the Gilligan's Brew. I can't remember what that is, but um, I get mostly the cookie dough out of it. But I like it, and it is a great blender. Then I have this uh, Swan Creek drizzle melt apple spice pumpkin custard this one's okay it's not my favorite um it's not as strong as the other two that i've had but see this camera is not coming out right i don't know what i'm gonna have to do um but it's not my favorite so i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and melt it but it's not a favorite of mine I got a hold of my Wilma's Wax. Um, I know she's changed her name, and it's the Twisted Tea. It's just like the London Tea and Calling. Absolutely love this. Um, and when I'm done with this, um, and I get through all my Bath and Body Works ones, I would order this again. I did the K's Creation. There was two of these fluted hearts in there. I've done one of them, and I cut it in half, and I put one half in at night. One night and another and another night. And this is a great bedtime scent. I have no idea what it is. It's like a pink sugar, maybe a lavender. Um, it's kind of like the pink sugar lavender mist. It's almost like that. And so I really like that to sleep with. So I will definitely be melting the rest of it. Um, a favorite of mine is pumpkin apple muffins. I absolutely love this. This will definitely be in my um, um, empties. I think I've gone through two of these already, and I have two left in this one, so this one will be gone. Absolutely amazing. Whatever you smell in the package is what you smell um, when it's melting. To me, it's like apples in um, a batter mix. It smells amazing. I love it. So... Then my, I showed you a Bunny Sisters haul this week, and one of my favorites is the Sleep Eaters. I love this to sleep with, and it is um, lemon, a sweet lavender, and birthday cake, I think. And I absolutely love this. I've gone through one. I'm trying to spread these out so that I don't use it all up. I'm trying to use different things at night so that I don't use it all up at once. But I've already used one of these, that, and I think I shot that on Monday, so one of these is gone. And then I also used a tea party from the Bunny Sisters, and absolutely another favorite of mine. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and I use this to sleep with as well, and it's, um, what is it? It's some blackberry jam, butter cookies, and tea and cakes, and I use it to sleep with, so it is amazing. I love that. Here's one. It is Rainbow Melts. It's raspberry sangria. It's got raspberries, cherries, grapefruit, sweet red wine, and a hint of orange. I melted two of these. Um, it smells good on cold. Um, it's just a fruity scent. I don't get the grapefruit out of it, thankfully, but I melted two of these because I melted it the first time and I was like, what does that smell? What does it smell like? And I finally figured out it was smelling like Windex to me. And I was like, what? So I melted again just to make sure that I was getting that scent. And that's what scent I get. And I guess it's maybe the raspberries, the cherries, and the red wine. I don't know what is giving me that scent. But that's what I get out of it. Um, 
I will I will melt the rest of them, but it smells better to me on cold than when it's actually melting. So, but I will still use that up. I use some one of the pumpkin marshmallow cream. I absolutely love this. Mm, it smells amazing. Um, and I just had to have one of those in my kitchen and it was amazing. So I melted that. I melted, here's another one that I melted um, for bedtime and it is pink lavender mellow from Wilma's. I know she has it named as something else um, now, but I absolutely love that. And this is a lavender that I can sleep with. It's like a sweet lavender. Um, I don't like herbal lavender, so this is definitely one I can sleep with. I went through, or I didn't go through, I put three of these cubes in and it is the Winterberry Zest. I did not get a scent out of it. Um, it smells good in the package, but it just was not a strong scent for me and I put it in the kitchen with three cubes and I didn't get a really strong scent out of it. So I'm going to use that up and I, that, I'm done with that. Um, I used, and this one was one that I used to sleep with, and it's Kay's Creations Lavender Ribbon Cake. And it had hearts, and I cut one of them in half, and I love that to sleep with, so I used that as well. This one I absolutely loved. I went back to Walmart this morning and could not find it. I want to find this one so bad, and it is Honey Crisp Cider. Absolutely love the way that this smells. Oh, it's just an amazing smell, and I absolutely love this, so I will be looking for more of this before the fall stuff goes away. Um, <clears throat> one of my blenders I used this month was a strawberry macaroon. It's a lot like your um, vanilla cookie crunch. Um, it has a little bit of a strawberry scent, but it's not very strong at all, so I just use it as a blender, and I, ha I need to get rid of it because you can tell it's turning yellow here, and I need to get rid of them. And I went nuts buying several of them um, several years ago. I used another one of the Bunny Sisters. It's called the Pennywise or Pennywise, and it's a bakery scent. I don't know the notes in it. This was smaller. It smells good. It started off. It started smelling. Um, I put it in at bedtime because I do bakery scents to to sleep with. And it, I could smell it, but to be honest with you, I fell asleep before it really kicked in. So what part I caught of it, it smelled amazing. So um, I don't know if I bought a bigger one of these or not. I can't remember what I did. I think I did. Did I? I don't know what I did. But I would definitely get this from the Bunny Sisters. This one is one I thought when I bought it I should buy backups. Thank God I did not. It is Praline Spice. It's cinnamon bark and vanilla cream. And I put this in and before it is all over with it is straight up cinnamon. And I cannot handle that. So I will be blending stuff with this because it is just it ends up being straight up cinnamon and it makes me cough and I cannot handle it. And there was another one that, that did uh pumpkin butter cookies did the same thing to me it was um i get the cinnamon in it and when it was done it was throwing straight up cinnamon so this is another one i will get through and will not order that one or buy that one again and this one did the same to me and it is warm apple pie it was good for a little while and then I did this one last night and it turned straight up cinnamon on me again. And I haven't burned these back to back. These are different days and they it's not like it's in the warmer or anything. It just, ugh, that straight up cinnamon, I cannot do it. Then I put apple bobbin. I put two cubes of it and three cubes of the uh, spiced caramel corn and it's kind of like a summer boardwalk kind of scent on that so i put those two together and loved that so i will use the rest of that up then i used this fall into autumn and i used three cubes of it and i could not smell this past the kitchen it's just like a craft store and it is not one that i would purchase again i don't really like it so 
Um, it's a pretty color, but not a favorite of mine. Then I have um, one that is Kay's creation, and it's Alex's Rainbow. And this was just a fruity scent, and I absolutely love this. It's kind of like got an effervescence to it, and I loved it. And I just put a slab in there in my melter at a time. So there was uh, four, now there's three. So I love that. And then the rest I have is three super tarts here. And this one I got because of Devin Thompson. I think that's what it was. And it's Herschel's Farm. And it is watermelon, strawberries, honeydew, and oranges. Absolutely love this. It smells so good. And I had it in my bedroom and it, during the day and it was amazing this would be too sweet for me at night but this was amazing on that one um i had this one last night i had to turn it off it is umbridge from sweet tarts and it is tk tea and cakes sugar dusted roses and cotton candy i mostly get the roses out of this and so i turned it off last night i turned it on this morning and let it run for a long time and then I um, cleaned out my warmer and I ended up putting the Countess in there. So I've used another one of the cubes of the Countess and I love this. It's pistachio and chai sugar milk and this smells amazing. So, oh, I love that. So I love this as well. So that's what I have been melting um, for the last two weeks. I like doing this series now because it is forcing me to go find different scents to um, melt and I found a bunch of stuff that I didn't even forgot I even had. So I'm glad I'm starting to do this because I don't want to just keep showing you the same thing over and over and over. Some of them will be the same but there will be different things in there. So I'm glad I'm doing this and I'm going to take out of here what I for my fall use it up put it in that and I'm getting ready to film that and then I'm going to film my empties so I just wanted to let you know what I've melted for the last two weeks and I will be back in two weeks and let you know what I've melted again so I will see you guys in my next video have a good day bye